And I'm speaking to Assembly Speaker Barbara Buckley. And uh, I know it's late. I'll get to the right, straight to the point. How do you feel? Well, I'm just uh, relieved that the session ended. The session ended on time and um, with a budget that's going to carry the, the state through these very difficult times without destroying higher ed, K through 12, health and human services. So um, at this point, I'm f feeling very good and hoping that the economy will rebound so that we can begin rebuilding. And uh, this being your last session in the assembly side, um, how is that, uh, again, another, you know, how do you feel about that at the moment? Well, you know, we, we said our goodbyes to all the term limited legislators. There are 10 in the assembly. And so it's a little bittersweet because I have so many fond memories of this, but mostly just grateful. You know, I moved to Nevada in 1980. I knew one person and I had my life savings of $800 in my pocket. And uh, I get to preside as the Speaker of the House and the first female in the state's history. So it's an honor. And, uh, well, uh, I guess the logical question I may uh, want to ask at the moment is what's next for you now? Well, what's next is packing my house, <laughs> taking my son to Disneyland, and getting back to my job. And then uh, after I have a day worth of rest, then maybe I'll think about my future. And uh, I guess the other question, uh, going you know, to, uh, to what you've done in the last session, which education kind of dominated it, and mm -hmm. you had a lot of tough decisions, as we said in the uh, last interview, you had to decide between pregnant women and basically college kids, and who's going to get funded in this. And how has this experience made you feel, and what have you learned from it? Well, I think what I learned the most from this is that this is probably the toughest spot we've been in in our state's history. And we came together, you know, Republicans, Democrats, Senate, Assembly, and we went through the budget line by line and looked for options. And in the end, we didn't cut pregnant women off their health insurance, and we didn't decimate higher ed or cut community colleges in UNR. I mean, there's cutbacks for sure. We made a billion dollars worth of cuts, and there's pain with those. But we didn't make, you know, $3 billion worth of cuts, which would have cut our state's funding in half. So I think we did right by the state of Nevada. And I think working together in tough times, you produce better results. And in closing, before, I, uh, before we all go to bed, is there anything else you'd like to say before, you know, to everyone on this as we go to bed? Well, I think just that the legislature finished on time for the first time in 10 years, and it feels pretty good. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you.